Hi, I'm Phil Morley. Welcome to my shop. Um, so this is the studio where I do my work. Um, it's you know it's pretty small, but it works for me. I'm a one-man shop, so uh, the way it usually works, the racks are looking a little empty right now because I'm in the middle of two projects. But I will get the lumber. I source the lumber from a few different places, um, some out of state, and if I can, I'll like to go pick it myself. But it will come and sit in the shop on the, in the racks for maybe two to three weeks before I start using it to acclimate to the, to the shop environment. Um, once I'm ready to start a project, obviously I'm going to bring the wood on down and that's where you know, the joining and the messy loud stuff happens. But I have a couple of joiners. Uh, this is an old 12-inch Northfield. Um, someone made a funky bass for it, but this thing is, is pretty sweet. Um, I usually rough out most of my stuff. People ask me if I use a table saw a lot. I really don't. I use my band saw. Um, but once I get into the rough out stage, it's, and when I say rough out, it's usually about an eighth inch or so heavy in the thickness and width, and then it sits in the racks. Um, this, you know, workbench area, since it's just me, I really just have one workbench. Um, and then, you know, this is a piece I'm working on right now. This will be a, a wine cabinet. It's, it's pretty much a china cabinet, but it's designed mainly for this uh, client's wine glasses and collection that he has. <clears throat> There'll be an entire uh, piece in the top. Most of it's going to be glass with doors. Um, and usually the way I'll do this type of work is I'll work with a client and with their specific needs and go in and do a 3D rendering um, back and forth until the client's happy, I'm happy, and you know, we begin. So this, this piece will probably have about 700, maybe 1,000 hours in it um, once it's done. So it's a lot of work. I typically will try to work on several projects at once. Um, one of the most important things is how you schedule your work. Uh, there's certain parts that can be done and then left, and you can work on another job, um, and then come back to that when it's sat for a while. So. This, is, this isn't even halfway yet, but it, it's coming along. Um, working on the drawers right now. Uh, there's a few tools behind all this stuff. This is where the shop's a little small. Um, you know, typical drill press. The most important tool over there, the coffee machine. Uh, drinking a lot of coffee. Sound system is pretty important too. Uh, chop saw, typically this is just a rough saw. It's um, to get stuff to blanket out, um, you know, to rough out. I don't do anything fine on this. Um, and then, you know, I've got my table saw. The table saws, I've got two of them. They're kind of centered in the shop. Um, I don't do a whole lot of table saw work. Usually it's cross cutting and stuff like that. But um, I have two. This is my main one. And then this guy is just strictly for cross cutting with my uh, sled on it. So this sled stays on here 90% of the time. Um, over here, it's getting a little cluttered, but just router table. Um, I'm a big, big router guy, so I've got a lot of routers. Um, this thing's pretty sweet. It's got a little slider. The table actually moves. Um, and then just sanding belts, another work table. Um, this is also a router table. It has a little router lift in here. Um, but as you can see, a lot of times I have just stuff stacked on top of it. Um, this is my, my rocking chair. So this is, uh, this is probably the only thing I do semi-production. Um, you know, most of the stuff I do, I build it one time. Uh, this piece, I've, I've built maybe, I don't know, 30, 40. Um, but I usually do three at a time. Um, any more than that, it becomes, it's just difficult for me to do. I, I, I start losing focus on it. Um, but it's, it's a really, I think, obviously, <laughs> it's my chair, a beautiful chair, comfortable chair. Um, a few different little projects kind of scattered at the moment, getting ready for a show uh, coming up here pretty soon. And this is a pro another project, like I said, working on a couple of projects at the same time. 
doesn't look like much now. These are just some big slabs of ash. Um, I guess they're not technically slabs. There are several different boards that I've glued up to make this big piece. These are going to be desks. So four desks for a graphic designer in Austin. Um, very minimalist, just real clean. Uh, have a, a mitered waterfall edge. These are technically the tubs. Uh, a few of my machines I've made myself. Uh, I think the thing with being a furniture maker, why it's, I would say it's a pretty difficult job is, yeah, you need to know all the fundamentals of wood movement, um, how things work, how to cut joinery and stuff. Um, but it's more than that. It's about wood selection. Um, and then you're somewhat of an engineer, uh, electrical mechanic. You need to know how to work on your machines. Um, I don't make enough money at furniture making where I can just buy the latest, greatest machine. So sometimes I have to make my own machine, like this sander. I call it a chairback sander. It's really designed to have this radius at the end that can change. And it's just anything that makes it more efficient, where I can get a job done a little faster, but also, you know, very fine and, and, and well, you know, done well, basically. So that's this kind of sanding corner. Um, there's a big stroke sander. So that's doing edges usually. And then this is the stroke sander. Goes back and forth, raises up and down. This belt, right now it's hidden this, but it's... So I'm not with a, you know, there with my hand plane, you know, spending days on one piece. This guy gets it done pretty quick and and again, it's, um, it's really well done. It's, you know, does a good job. Um, more racks. These racks are designed to be broke down if I need to. I could take the arms out and move them around. Uh, anytime with a shop, it's just, with a small shop, it's difficult. You're limited on space. So try to use up the walls as much as possible. Um, and then I don't have, you know, this little planer is, it's, my main go-to planer, it, it does a really nice job. Um, I'm not a production shop, so it works for me. I do have a couple of bigger planers um, that I can put out and use if, if I need, but it's pretty rare that I do that. And then last, I guess, is the bandsaw. Um, it's nothing too fancy. Uh, it does the job really well. I highly recommend it. It's a um, 17 inch uh, bandsaw. Um, yeah. That's uh, pretty much the shot. Not much to it. <laughs>